Welcome to the Healthy Home Guide. This is a place where I share practical tips for creating a safe and healthy home environment. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about particles in your home's air and what you can do about them. Particulate matter, also known as PM, refers to tiny particles that are suspended in the air. And these particles can come from hundreds of different sources. They can come from fuel burning, to dust, to mold. Before I go any further, I wanna say that I don't want this video to be a source of fear. I want it to empower you, to improve your living situation and your health. That being said, I do feel I need to briefly mention the health impacts of particulate matter. Don't take this from me, by the way. There's an absolute mountain of research about how many health conditions particulate can cause and exacerbate. And it's not just respiratory problems, as you might assume. It's also heart disease, cancer, autoimmune disease, liver disease, kidney disease, cognitive decline, reproductive issues. I mean, literally, literally, you name it, it's everything. Fortunately, you can protect yourself from PM. One really helpful action is to run a HEPA air filter 24 seven, like this Austin Air that I have. But a floor air filter can only do so much if you're not mitigating the original sources of the particulate. To begin to discover these sources, you need to measure the particulate levels in your house. For that, you need a particle counter um, like this Dylos DC 1100 Pro. This one is $250, which is on the cheaper end, and you don't wanna go much lower than that because you'll be sacrificing quality. So this counter is designed to run continuously and give you real-time particle counts. It has two readings. It has a number on the left, which is smaller particles, and a number on the right, which is larger particles. Keep it where you spend most of your time and just like watch it every now and then, just to, to develop you know, an intuitive sense of where your particle counts are at any given time. This counter may not tell you exactly what the particles are made of, but that's actually not important because you can usually extrapolate where they're coming from. I'll give you some actual examples so you can know what I'm talking about. So scenario one, okay, I have a space heater. When I put it on high, I noticed that my small particle count slowly would creep up and up and up until it reached a hazardous level. And this was particularly dangerous because I couldn't smell the particles. So I wouldn't have known that they were in my air if not for this particle counter. The solution, I avoid using my space heater's high mode. Scenario number two. So I open my windows to ventilate my house, basically. Sometimes when I do so, I notice that the small particle count on this goes up significantly. So I realize that since I live near a main road, uh, sometimes if the atmospheric conditions are right or, or wrong, I should say, particulate from vehicles can drift into my house. One logical solution is on days like this, I can just not open my windows which is problematic because CO2 and VOC levels in my house can then rise. So I think a better solution would be to use a fresh air intake system to filter the air as it comes in my house. Scenario three. So I like to dance on this carpet, um, but I notice that when I do, the large particle count goes up a lot. So I determined that my dancing was kicking up dust and other particles that were trapped in the carpet. The solution, when I cleaned my carpet, the problem was reduced. One disclaimer that I need to tell you about is that low cost particle counters like this one are susceptible to error from things like electromagnetic fields. So if you feel that I've given you a practical tool to protect yourself and help yourself heal from chronic illness, if you have it, please subscribe and like this video, because it really does help me out. If you have a question, go ahead and leave it in the comments section. I really like to hear from you guys. And most importantly, have a particulate free day.